people back again with another video it's your girl Vanessa you're getting a two for one because clearly I'm wearing the same shirt as the video for this one if you haven't already watched that one that's my reaction to Lord Solar Power go watch that first and then come back and watch this one or watch this one and go back to the other one you choose um, but today we're gonna be doing a reaction to Jojo's song Creature of Habit. So this came out last month. I haven't actually really listened to it. I've heard little snippets and stuff like that off of her Instagram, but I haven't actually sat down and listened to the song. So we're actually gonna watch the music video to the song today. And um, y'all know, or I don't know if you do know, but I ride for my girl Jojo. Loved her obviously since her leave get out days back in the mid 2000s when she was my age uh, and we were out here singing songs that we ain't never experienced anything about <laughs> but yet we're out here trying to sing and songs like we're grown um, but yeah so Jojo I've enjoyed her music since uh, what was that 2004 when she dropped her debut album um, I know she had like legal issues with her label and she was just releasing stuff on SoundCloud uh, and I didn't really, I wasn't really aware or in that SoundCloud scene at that time in those later 2000s uh, while she was, you know, battling her label to kind of dissolve that contract and be able to release music on her own terms. Um, which like no one deserves to have to go through that. That's just insane because people are like, where did Jojo go? Why isn't she releasing music? And it's like, she literally is stuck with a crappy label that will not release music for her. Um, so anyway, um, and then she released Mad Love. That was like her first debut album back in 2016. Um, I was a little late on that. I don't think I listened to that until 2018, 2019. Sorry, there's a fuzz flying in front of my face. Yeah, I don't think I listened to that album until like 2018, 2019, because I didn't even know that that album came out. That's a decent album. I know, you know, she she loves her Mad Love era, but she also admits that like, there are some songs that she had on there, at least a probably good half of that album, that she kind of just added onto that album because she felt like that was what was expected of her, especially that being like her first full debut album back into the music scene since her, um, The High Road, her second album, when she was 15, um, back in 2006. So I'm like, it was 10 years since she had last dropped an album. And so uh, there are some songs on there that I can tell are a little more mainstream that doesn't necessarily match JoJo, like match her. Um, and you can kind of tell that like this is something that she probably ex like said yes to the label to do these types of songs on that album. And then the other half are like, okay, this is a JoJo track. So that album, I have like a love-hate relationship with where I'm just like, I appreciate that, you know, you were able to release music and you have this body of work, but also there are some songs that I'm just like, mm, this ain't fully you. But then when she came out with Good To Know last year, good album. You guys should go check that album out. Um, she came in with in her R&B bag, which is, you know, what she really is here to do, and she slayed. So anyway, this is Creature of Habit. I'm gonna put my headphones in, because I've been talking, ooh, wrong ear. I've been talking way too much. Let's just get into it. All right, Creature of Habit. Sometimes I fantasize that you're cheating on me. Oh, we fight so bad you walk out on me So that I won't be the bad guy Turn the tables on me mm. sit up a little, come on, honey It do be like that for some people. I can't relate, but I'm like those people that be, I mean, she had a single out last year before Good To Know came out, Sabotage, where it's literally like, you're self-sabotaging your relationship because you're out here fantasizing that you're cheating but like or fantasizing that your partner's cheating or doing whatever but really you're the one who's out here acting a mess and yeah so she's consistent i want something more i want to love some random strangers on the floor of some sleazy hotel room far away but there's always an excuse to say i'm a creature I said she was consistent. Creature of habit. Mm -hmm. That vocal. I 
I like those colors. I'm a creature of habit. I want that dramatic look my head that you could look This This will right here. Sometimes I have to cry. But I don't want to fake it. Shouldn't be someone's security blanket. So not even just like the self-sabotage. It's more like she got comfortable in this relationship and she's like, it's probably, I probably don't even need to be in this relationship anymore, but like I'm a creature of habit. So I'm just going to continue. Like it's those people who stay in relationships too long, even though they know that the relationship is not going anywhere and they probably should end it and move on. But they're just still sitting in this relationship because they just not are too lazy to leave, but like are creatures of habit and just like are like well I'm comfortable here so it's a lot of work to break up and find someone new don't have that mentality people <laughs> Assuming she's trying to be hypnotized to get out of this bad habit of being a creature of habit. Interesting. I, it definitely is a song, like I said, that, you know, I can't fully relate to. Um, but, like, you know those people who just be staying in relationships because, you know, they're afraid to get out of their comfort zone and they're in, in, they're creatures of habit and now that they've gotten comfortable in a relationship, even though it's not going anywhere, they they don't want to get up out of it because then, you know, they got to either, they got to be alone and they don't want to be or like they don't want to have to go through the whole process of, you know, finding someone else to be with, you know, that whole process of dating again. Um, but I mean, if something doesn't serve you, you, you really don't need to have it staying in your life. But JoJo was serving us some vocals. She's telling us her truth as she's seemed to do, especially in this era of the last couple years, like the Good to Know and the couple songs before that, um, Joanna and Sabotage that came out early 2020. Um, but yeah, that I thought it was a good song. Um, I don't know if I'm going to just listen to the single like whenever I feel like it. But if it comes up in my shuffle and my playlist and whatever, the little Apple Infinity thing, which is Infinity Play, I don't, I don't remember what it's called. But I'm gonna listen to it. Um, I, I can't say anything about JoJo's vocals. We all know that JoJo can sing. Like I said, JoJo be making songs that she know damn well we can't all sing along with because she be hitting notes that are not easy to hit and them belts that not everybody has the the diaphragm to get to <laughs> um but yeah overall you know i'm gonna give this song a thumbs up i would say it's probably like a eight out of ten versus like other jojo songs that were probably like a nine or a ten out of ten i would give this like an eight based off of like my favorite songs of hers um 
yeah you know like a b range song um but other than that yeah i like the song let me know if you guys like the song too uh comment down below if you already listened to this uh song what you think about it um if you've liked the this new last couple years of music from jojo and you're, you're looking forward to whatever she ends up giving to us later i know good to know was a year ago so i don't know what her process is especially because since we're still technically in quarantine but not really anymore how that's working um i don't know whatever she's working on next or if, the, if she's gonna just drop singles randomly before she decides to you know create a whole separate project but uh yeah let me know down below what you guys thought of creature of habit and uh give this song a uh, song i ain't saying she did give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe hit that bell so you're notified when i next upload and i will see you guys in a later video bye